Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Tech. Uh, I am Piyush. Today I am going to discuss about one new topic, bundle birds and twin ring. Uh, about this topic, uh, from IS four five six two thousand, I will discuss uh, two clause. There is nothing but twenty six point one point one and twenty six point five point three point two. Uh, this topic is uh, very important. Those are uh, doing uh, practice or those in, uh, are doing job as a structural engineer or uh, those are studying a final year and third year also. Because in college, uh, maybe actually this is fully practical oriented because uh, in theoretically in college syllabus also this part is not included. Uh, including but they are not discussed um, deeply so in practically but this kind of situation you have to, you can face like you have to use the bundle bars usually in multi-story building high-rise building uh, at that time at that time so i feel like this uh, this topic is important so i took this uh, topic so if you are really interested to know about bundle bars, how we are using as in practical projects. Uh, so stay with me and watch full video. Okay, so let's start. As per IS 4562026.1.1, uh, they said if we need, we can use bundle bars, but we can't use more than 32, uh, 32 mm dia bar okay so from this clause 26.1.1 we can say that if we need we can use bundle bars now my question is when we go for bundle bar okay what are the situation you will face then you will decide okay i will go for bundle bars now Okay, right. I'll just show one example. Suppose uh, you are designing for multi-story building. Usually, bundle bars you, we are using usually for multi-story building only because uh, because in multi-story building only you have to use 35 25 sorry 25 mm dia 32 mm dia like that because if you are getting 60 mm dia 25 mm dia that time if you need more percentage of steel you can increase the dia of bars but more than 32 mm dia bar where you will go okay right there is a number of bars but usually for building and 32 more than 32 it is a rare case we are using more than 32 so the thing is what we will do after that time that time we will go for bundle bars suppose uh, you got one column sizes. Your column size is suppose uh, how much? Thousand um, by twelve hundred, right? Your column size. Now you got uh, the percentage of steel required is two. Sorry, two point eight six percent. Suppose maybe three percent, two point eight six. Just I took one example. For example, let's took a number. Now, for 30, 1000 by 1200 mm column, how many numbers of bar you can use? How many numbers of bar you can use? Should I draw here? Suppose uh, this is your 1000 mm, this is your 1200 mm side now this is your number of bars so like that we are using we are giving section right like that we are giving section column section suppose. so this is column section suppose <coughs> okay so if you count this side maximum 12 number of bar you can use that side maximum 12 number that same 10 number means uh, 8 8 because this corner bar are common bar okay so for 1000 by 12 mm uh, column maximum number of bar is 
40 8 8 16 12 24 so 40 numbers right so this is your maximum number of bars whatever dia you use you can use 8 mm sorry 12 mm minimum minimum dia 12 mm 16 mm 20 mm 25 32 whatever dia you use you can more maximum number of 40 numbers if you maintain the minimum spacing properly now the thing is if you use 40 numbers of 32 dia bars how much how much you, you can provide means how much percentage you are providing just calculate once uh, 1000 by 1200 right 40 14 to 804 805 805 we take uh, divided by 1000 into 1200 right so how much percent is 2.68 percent so if you provide 40 numbers 32 dia bar you are providing 2.68 percent okay but what how much you are you need this is providing but you need 2.86 percent of required percentage okay so what we will do that time you can't increase the number of bars here because that time spacing will be less less than uh, 80 mm i think less than 80 mm or 75 mm we will get so at per is 456 another clause is there you can go less than that so that time you need bundle bars okay that time you need bundle bars different of different type of pattern is there so you have to use if you need three number of bundle bars or four number of bundles as per your requirement you can use so from this clause we can get this idea right now here i am you can see the different pattern of bundle bars you can use two number of bundle bars like that and one ring here three number of bundle bars one common ring four number of bundle bars like that you have to but you have to bundle it by binding wire okay you remember when you are going for detail so like that we can use bundle bars as per our requirement now the question next clause and now i'm going to discuss about next clause 26.5.3.2 as per uh, 456 2000 okay what this clause says this clause says if i use uh, any dia of bar the tie bar uh, should not be less than d by 4 okay so the tie bar should not be less than d by 4 this only said right of largest longitudinal bar whatever you will use uh, longitudinal main bar it should be less than d by 4 now the thing is if you use three numbers of bundle bar suppose so that time suppose you are using uh, maximum 32 mm dia of bundle bars okay the dia of bundle bars 32 mm now the question is which one will be the d 32 is your d no right d is not at all 32 your longitudinal dia longitudinal bar dia is not at all 32 because you are using bundle bars you are using you are considering this three number of bar making a single bar so that time you have to calculate the equivalent dia of the bar okay this is very important remember that time you have to calculate the equivalent dia of the bar how to you cal how can you calculate the equivalent dia of bar to calculate like that see like that three number of bars if you use like that you have to equivalent dia of bar you have to calculate okay so to calculate equivalent number of bar equivalent dia of bar you can use two shortcut method one using Kelsey using Kelsey for Kelsey what you have to do using Kelsey what you have to do you have to if suppose you are using 32 mm dia bar suppose you are using 32 mm that means three numbers okay three into eight not uh, five area of one single 32 mm dia bar equals to pi into d square 
divided by 4 this square in calc you will not get you will get x square okay so you have to so solve this equation and you have to find out the equivalent dia of bar okay equivalent dia i think you will get around um, 54 point something 3 4 or something 54 m 54 point something you will get so uh, no, divided by 4 it should be dia of tie bar dia of tie bar okay this is one method another method what can you do another method you can do suppose you are using 32 mm dia bar so 32 whole square plus 32 whole square plus 32 whole square if you do if you solve you will get the equivalent only this is very shortcut right this is shortcut to shortcut <laughs> right so like that you can find out you will get same answer 32 you will get same answer okay uh, what you have to do for uh, dia um, to find out the um, uh, dia of tiverse dia of tiverse you will get uh, divided by 4 if you do you will get dia of tiverse you will get i think 13.5 something okay if i do this one 13.5 something both so next uh, now for tiverse usually if you get 30 13.5 next what dia you can use for tie bar 16 mm dia because 13 mm dia bar you will not available in market so you have to go for 16 mm dia bar but usually in practically it is very difficult to band and all 16 mm dia ties so that time we will go for another uh, what is called practical solution we will find some other solution to manage this thing and we are using for that twin bar twin ring okay so now my question is what is twin ring twin ring is nothing whatever you will get the dia divided by two that dia you use means instead of single you use two 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 bars okay so suppose your ring is you are getting 13.2 that means 16 mm dia bar you have to use instead of that use 8 mm right but you have to use two times correct this is nothing but twin ring so you have to use two times like <coughs> this is your main ring main, sorry main bar the which is your main bar and this is your twin ring suppose if you see the elevation you will see like that this is your main bar and this is your twin ring okay this is your nothing but twin ring two times you have to use same dia it is nothing but 8 at the rate 200 supports 250 200 center to center using otherwise you have to use what 16 mm dia 250 center to center instead of that you are using twin ring 8 mm dia 200 center to center or 250 center to center whatever so this is about twin ring so i think from this video you can get idea about bundle buds and uh, to uh, provide bundle but but what are the ice uh, specification is clause we are using i think you get idea so please subscribe my channel so i can get more motivated uh, i will be more motivated and I'll, i will come with another um, some interesting video so please subscribe my channel thank you so much